Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading for the first week of April 2024. This is Bare Food Mama Intuitive Reading. If you want to enter to win a free reading with me on 424, go ahead and put free reading in the comments. Um, also, there's a 15% off sale for my personal readings on Etsy. If you put springtime in the promotional thing, um, you'll get that discount. So for the next month, you can check that out. All that information is in the description box below. Okay, let's get started. Um, I feel like with that sound bowl healing opening, you're pretty well rounded right now. Um, I'm also hearing Gemini. I don't know why. Maybe in terms of like a love connection, maybe you're dealing with a Gemini. Or you have Gemini in your chart. I think there's a song called Gemini as well. Um, you might look that up. I don't usually get messages like that about like zodiacs anyways all right spirit please protect this reading send any negative energy back to sender transmuted tenfold for the greatest good of all and harm to none archangel michael please bring clear messages through for my virgo collective and mother mary please bring compassion whoop, to this reading amen amen so would it be Ace of Pentacles at the heart of your reading. That's lovely. The Hangman, Pisces, Two of Wands in your recent past, the Wheel of Fortune reversed, the Knight of Cups in your hopes and fears, the Nine of Swords reversed in your outcome. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. So you may have experienced like a calling to your destiny in the recent past but you sort of needed to wait to move towards it or you felt like you needed to wait to move towards it for some reason but with the ace of pentacles and the hangman at the heart of your reading there's something here where like if you needed if you felt like you needed more money to do something this is you realizing that your self-worth is reflected in your material reality somehow and then like using your powers of manifestation so like if you felt like you needed more money for something it could be that an opportunity arose sort of outside of the the norm that allowed you to like move through this two of wands situation like instead of getting um money or something you're given some sort of discount for a business opportunity or your you win something or it's it's like unexpected it's it's something it happens in an unexpected way um the knight of cups reverse what is this we have pentacles reverse two of cups reverse gosh okay um if you were hoping for a love connection with somebody oh okay they might have they might have refrained from giving you an offer of love or you may have refrained from giving somebody else an offer of love because you were working on your pentacles or they were vice versa there's something here about like work getting in the way or even like this person has a family and so or they or you have a family like our kids i don't know there's something here about a love connection like not not occurring because there's a need to focus on the self the person you were dating may may have needed to focus on themselves or vice versa but there's something here about the nine of swords reverse like okay if you chose to focus on yourself in a love connection it was because it was giving you too much anxiety there was something that you needed to like heal or like there's something relieving about this for you. What is this? Nine of swords reverse in the outcome. Six of swords reverse. Ace of swords reverse. Swords, swords, swords reversed. 
are you kidding me? And the King of Swords reverse, you could be dealing with an air sign. Again, Gemini came through at the beginning of the reading. I'm hearing like Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. I don't know if you were having like obsessive thoughts about someone or they were having obsessive thoughts about you, but you may have been trying to like actually cut them out of your life. This is weird. Okay, I'm I'm going to figure this out. I it almost feels like stalker energy, closing out a cycle underneath. Oh wow. Underneath the wheel of fortune reversed. The world and then the two of wands, high priestess reversed. What is this wheel of fortune reversed? The three of cups. And the world Queen of Swords. Now, this is so weird. I feel like there was somebody trying to intrude on your energy or your destiny. They may be like a family member or like part of a sisterhood. The Three of Cups I often see as like a um as a gathering of like witches. And not not the bad kind of witch, you know, like the the term witch like to refer to bad people is just it's silly to me it's not witches are not evil that's all i have to say so these are people though like if they were trying to intrude on your destiny i think that they had your best interests in mind or you worked with other like a sisterhood to help you close out a cycle of like not being able to meet your destiny that makes more sense to me and as you close the cycle out you've adopted this Queen of Swords energy, where you are learning to cut things out that like, or people out who don't contribute to your life, who like weigh you down, who hurt you, who um, intrude somehow. Who is intruding on on your your destiny here? Who is this person? A Queen of Cups reversed. Okay, somebody who uses emotional manipulation to um like make you feel sympathy for them who's the high priestess reverse it might be a pisces with the water here you have pisces here twice and then a queen of cups or something happened in pisces season what's the high priestess under the two of wands the chariot okay um, Taurus had the chariot in this same position in their recent past, like, and it might be something to do with the astrology right now, like moving forward quite quickly. You could be working with like a coven or a sisterhood or a brotherhood of, of, um, like-minded individuals. And there's like two water signs here and an air sign is what I'm seeing. A Gemini, a Pisces and a Cancer. Um, and you're having to... deal with i think some gossip from this queen of cups cancer energy regarding the other two um why does gemini keep coming through this outcome is gemini reverse six of cups reverse letting go of nostalgia in order to accept the truth of a situation what's the truth of the situation knight of pentacles somebody is slowing you down um or you're taking your time moving forward okay all right all right all right let's see here what is this sisterhood death rebirth reversed oh man what is the high priestess with the two of wands and the chariot eight of swords with the queen of swords here and the eight of swords okay this gemini energy whether that's in your chart or whether it's like one of these people in your these could actually be your sisters or your family um your star family even um they are this energy is helping you to adopt this queen of swords like cutting stuff out so that you can 
go about this transformation process. Somebody attached to you, this Queen of Cups reverse, didn't want you to move on, move forward, transform, grow, um, move into your destiny. And so you've been in this Two of Wands energy, just kind of like with the world literally in your hands and needing to sort of take the sword and cut it out. But you've been, um, your intuition's either been blocked or you've been ignoring your intuition. And maybe you've even been moving forward um, a bit like recklessly or um, quickly, like kind of hoping that you won't have to do this, like won't have to cut this person out or won't have to like distance yourself from this person somehow. But with the Eight of Swords here, I think you're seeing where you've projected your values onto this person and where it is that they stand in this Queen of Cups reverse energy. Like they don't have empathy for your situation if they're trying to like draw on your energy to keep you stuck so that you can stay friends. You know, there's something about their growth that needs to occur that you're seeing like isn't occurring. And and you may be um, sort of giving them the benefit of the doubt when even if it's like dragging you down or dragging you under or like holding you back. What is, what is it that you're wanting to move towards? Fairness. This could be a person who like trauma dumps um, or just they don't um, contribute equally to your friendship. They could be the kind of person who like borrows money and then like doesn't give it back. Um, I don't know, like if you if you hang out together, like at a a gathering, like they would come over to your house and like eat your food and then not like not like return the favor by having you over and cooking for you or something. It's like they don't. And even if they don't have the means, uh, I'm hearing like even the emotional means, they don't have that like to return to you. And I think it's hard for you to it's been hard for you to accept this. Um. But there's something, there's something hidden here about this situation. Again, emotional manipulation. Like, there's something hidden here about this situation. Two of Cups reversed, Three of Pentacles reversed, Knight of Cups. I think you're finding this out. What is this? Ace of Wands? I think intuitively, you know, and you've sort of been avoiding it. You have the Hangman. You're getting some sort of epiphany, and it's about money. Ten of Pentacles reversed. If you and another person were interested in the same, like, potential love connection, I think you're finding out that this person in your sort of sisterhood, brotherhood, like, one of your friends, they, they may have, like, said something to another, to the person you're interested in that, like, prevented a two of cups connection three of pentacles reverse knight of cups they could have this is weird they could have said something like they could have lied to this person about you being like broke or just wanting you for you just wanting them for money that's a really specific message um What the heck? What is this Ten of Pentacles reverse? <sighs> Temperance. Earth Angel energy. Sagittarius energy. With the sun and the moon here. And the tower. Okay. So the tower... Um, I'm associating this, like solar eclipse that's coming up with the tower because it's the um the sun is in aries and the moon is in scorpio i think yeah and those two um signs rule this card the tower so by this eclipse on the eighth um you may be finding a solution or understanding realizing the solution to this like weird friendship connection this weird friend who's just literally trying to keep you from what's yours your divine inheritance um and it's from a place of insecurity it's from a place of emotional insecurity and not wanting to change and you're kind of understanding like 
how to approach this situation in a way that is um, fair and tactful and charismatic without being like too harsh. Um, what about this two of cups, three of pentacles, reverse knight of cups, reverse? This is like a missed love connection. Six of wands reversed. Sagittarius energy. The hermit reverse. This is you. What? So as you sort of, two of pentacles reverse. As you sort of approach this situation with your friend, this third party, as you confront them, they're going to tell you something, I think, or reveal to you exactly how it is they got in your way or got in the way of this connection. And whatever anxieties you've been having, whatever like lack of clarity you've been feeling, or like whatever intuition you've had about being told a lie, like there's a feeling you have in your gut, like somebody's not being honest with you. They're trying to keep you tied to a situation. Maybe you've even had like nightmares about it or you've, you've been having like kind of trouble sleeping or trying to bury these like thoughts. Um, they're going to be telling you the truth or the truth is going to be revealed and you're going to be able to like slowly move on and move forward. Six of Wands reverse, Six of Cups reverse. Um, and then you have the three of cups upright, the three of pentacles reverse. Huh. This could even be a situation where it's like there's three people in a friend group and then like two people like one person. They're romantically involved in like or wanting to be involved with one person. And then those two, like two people hook up and you're kind of like watching like from the sidelines feeling like a third wheel a little bit. Um, and so you need to, like, in this situation, decide to open up your friendship circle to other people because, like, like these two, two friends of yours could be connecting romantically and it, it, it's, like, a little bit, um, awkward for you. And in, in which case I'm seeing that you're, like, happy for them, but it's not, it's not ideal to be a third wheel in a situation. Temperance in the tower, I'm seeing, like, no matter what the situation is for you, taking it, taking it as it resonates, of course, you're approaching it with charisma, you're seeing exactly what it is you need to do um, to release, to transform, and then to follow your ace of pentacles to move forward slowly but surely to what is fair and even for you, and even to enjoy the process, like, this night of pentacles is moving along just like with his feet in the grass with his horse just da, 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 like really taking his time and enjoying life so I don't really feel that this is a bad reading in any way shape or form I just feel like there's some complicated relationship dynamics around you and you're and you're learning or choosing to expand outside of your current community or expand your current community so that there's more involvement with other people and less of you feeling like like you need to be in your hermit mode, right? Or like you need to be in your two of wands. Um, anything else for Virgo for this reading? What an interesting reading. The sun. Ooh. Okay. So you're moving towards what makes you super happy. You're um, maybe meeting a fire sign, Leo energy, um, Sagittarius is here. I know there's kind of a lot of fire here as well. So if you're, if you're meeting like a fire sign friend, um, it's going to be like a really happy, wonderful friendship. But what I'm seeing here also is like you really coming into your individuality, into your, um, divine destinies back here with the wheel of fortune like this whatever was preventing you from like finding that or becoming that or becoming you really this little tower moment with the temperance 
here, like it's gonna it's gonna be a tower moment that isn't it's not a bad one. It's one that sort of dismantles things, but that you handle well, and the dismantling is is there so that things can come into balance so you can feel like like yourself. Um, if you've again been having any anxiety or feelings of like like what am I not seeing? What am I not seeing? What am I not seeing? Um, is what I'm hearing here. And, I, and then Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. There's something here about Gemini is like the twins, right? And you have two of wands, so like mirroring maybe could be that some. And then you have the Eight of Swords here. There could be somebody who was mirroring you, and so you couldn't like you couldn't feel individuated or feel like you were yourself because like this person who was attached to you just was always kind of doing what you wanted to do or. I don't know. There's something here about you needing to move on, move forward and like leave the past in the past and like thank it for the memories essentially. And you're, it seems like you're happy to do this. Okay. Um, I am feeling drawn to pull an Oracle card for you for this reading and then we'll close it out. Thanks for being here, Virgo. Again, if you want to book a personal with me, you can check out my Etsy. Look at that discount code. Um, you can donate on my cash app or join my Patreon. I also have a yoga channel. So if you want to meet me over there, that's all in the description box below. Five of Cups Reverse. Yeah. Okay. So the Five of Cups Reverse just talks about like letting go of things that have been emotionally draining you and picking up your Two of Cups that are behind you and moving forward. Um, these cards don't really have reversed meanings, but this is the Hawk's Head Death Moth, I think is what it's called or something like that. And while it's not really like the card talks about how while it's not really dangerous or anything, it has been purported to be a bad omen. So if there was something that you felt like was a bad omen or like, again, this looming sense of like anxiety or what am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? I think you come to realize like you might just be missing taking your time to enjoy each step along the way. You might just be missing feeling balanced within yourself you might just be missing like following your joy um and you're and you're able to do that by your your situation gets shaken up it's like there's been something in your situation that it's so normal and natural to you that you don't even really i think consider that this might be what is making you feel like weighed down and so when it comes when this tower moment comes you're going to be like oh uh, i don't know this is like a your perspective totally being like whoop turned on its head like if you had a focus on romance before or a focus on career and romance all of a sudden you're like oh no i'm i'm good like this is good i just want to chill and enjoy like the springtime um and the sun around me. I just want to go garden. I don't, this has come out in your readings before, like just garden, just go garden, enjoy your garden. Um, anyway, <laughs> any bad omens you're feeling, any anxiety you're feeling, um, it's leading to this big, beautiful transformation. That's going to be, um, soft tempered, not like this huge upheaval. So I hope this was a hopeful and useful message for you, Virgo. If so, please do let me know in the comments like and share and subscribe it'll help my channel grow help me get into that algorithm or stay there um in any case let me know uh thanks for being here i'll see you all next week bye